Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melter Production, and I thought I'd do a video today to show you two new free plugins that uh, recently were released. So, the first one I'll just show you really quickly, it's M Metronome. So, this isn't really such a big thing, but if you're looking for a metronome, this one is really cool. Uh, if I play it, it'll just sync to the tempo and play something here. So, of course, you can choose the frequency, the first pitch, you know, goes up. And also, there's different uh, sounds here. So, if I wanted to do, like, a cross stick or something. Like that. And, of course, you see there's a visualization here. So, if I want more blinking, like this. So, that's a cool thing to practice with. But, uh, like I said, that's not really what I want to show here. What I do want to show, however, is this. MCC Generator. And what this does is it allows you to create MIDI CCs just using this. And you can use all the modulators in the Melder Production uh, mod section to create all sorts of interesting and uh, unique things. So let's say I have it hooked up here. I have it in Sound Factory and I just have an oscillator with a filter. And you see in the filter it's being controlled by the mod wheel. So, it doesn't have to be M Sound Factory. You could do this with any other synth plugin or anything that uses MIDI CCs like samples, etc. So, now if I play it. Okay, nothing happens. But, actually, I'll turn off my keyboard so you can see it. If I move this value, it will open up the filter, which is controlled by Global MIDI CC1. And of course, you can change it. So if you think, oh, I don't want to use that, I want to control, you know, one of these other MIDI CCs, you can do that easily. And you can also control the channel, so you can choose different MIDI channels to do it on. So I'll let you hear it now. Now, of course, I could just hook this value up to MIDI itself and I could control it by something else like if I had a breath controller if I just wanted to use this kind of like a, a translator I could do that but I think that's kind of uh, boring so let me show you some other things you can do so we can take this value and we can hook it up to one of these mods so I'll just move it like this where I hit clear and learn then after it's recording I turn it off and now if I just turn it on by clicking here you see it's moving by itself and it's moving kind of strange manner so I have this here, but let's actually turn this off for a second. So now you see it's just a normal sine wave. Let's turn this off, and let's just hear this. So you can see how that's working, and of course I can change it here. I can do all sorts of different shapes. It has the basic shapes, of course. Uh, if you're wondering, hey, what if I want this uh, sine wave to ramp up instead of ramp down, just go into advanced and click invert. And now you see it's going the other way. So if you're wondering how to do that. And of course, you can import your own custom samples. So if you have your own that you like, you can do that. You can even mess with the harmonics here like this. Oh, wow. See, I'm creating all sorts of new and crazy shapes if I want to do that. But I don't. So let's just turn these off, off, off. Ooh, have one more on. There we go. Okay. So now we have this, and this by itself is kind of interesting, but let me show you something else that might be a little bit more interesting. So you see we have the step sequencer here, and we can do all sorts of different shapes like this. And here we have the frequency, but we can also sync this. So now let's sync this to the uh, length, the quarter note. I can change the phase here if I want to, although I want the phase is zero. I have it straight, but I could set it to triplets. But let's just hear what this sounds like. Okay, and if I have it like not synced, like let's say I had it um, quarter note triplets and I want to re-trigger every single time it hits a MIDI note, I could do that too. So let me set this a little bit slower. So that way it will be re-triggered uh, every single time a new note is played. So that's cool, and there's of course more things I could do with this. You could get in here and do some really crazy stuff like uh, 
this and uh, this. Let's see how this sounds. So I can create all sorts of interesting things just using this, but you're thinking, okay, that's cool. It's a LFO. And of course I could do more with this. There's custom shapes in here so you can make your own shapes in crazy ways like this. Okay, but let me show you something else. The envelope. So here, I can have this triggered by audio, but there's no audio coming in here. So I want to set this to MIDI. And then I can set this however I want it. So let's try something like this. It's down for a second. Now, by itself, that's kind of cool. But then when you add in the Tremelo stuff like this, it becomes more interesting. Now you think, okay, that's kind of cool, but it's just like a sine wave at the top, which is nice, but I wish you could do something else. And you actually can. So let's go into Tremelo here, and you see we can do the whole tempo sync thing here. So I can sync it by the bar, and I can go back into the step sequencer and do all sorts of crazy stuff again, like, uh, I don't know. Uh, let me see if I can come up with an interesting pattern here on the spot. Probably can't, but whatever. Okay. And so now it will do this once it gets to the top, like this. So I can do that kind of stuff, and if I think, okay, I don't want that, but I want to create like my own custom shape. Go into here, custom shape, and I can adjust the attack and release however I want it, plus with the Tremelo, I can create all sorts of shapes here. So adjusting the attack, the release, here, I can add points, etc. And for the middle part, just use the Tremelo to create whatever shape you want. If you don't want to use a step sequencer, go into custom here, and you can just draw whatever crazy shape you want. So like, okay, I have something like that. So now I have that in the uh, sustain stage. So there's all sorts of things you can do with that, and I'll show you just one more thing if you go to random. So now that this will just move it randomly like this. So you can do that, and you see here I'm only using this one, the MIDI CC1 or CC1, but of course I could do the same thing with multiple of these and have these all controlled by this random modulator. I could also have it controlled by the envelope, normal, etc. And for all these you can set the uh, values for them too. So there's all sorts of interesting and like unique things you can do with this. So this saves you lots of time if you, if you don't like drawing in MIDI CCs. You can Think, okay, this can do at least a lot of the work for me, and even if it's not perfect, you can go back and edit it later by just recording what comes out of there. So, hopefully this gave you an idea of what M uh, MCC Generator can do. If you have any questions, leave those below. Give me a thumbs up. Check out all my other videos, and check out all the other plugins at MillerProduction.com. Until next time, see you.